Hello everybody. Yes, it's time for another tutorial. I'm going to try to keep this as brief as possible. Um, this time I'm going to give an illustration on how to create a animated GIF using Adobe Fireworks CS. All right, let's get jump let's jump right into this. Now, first of all, what you're going to have to do is upload your photos into Adobe Fireworks. So here at the top you see I have four photos I already selected for this project. So we're going to have Bloomberg. This is the house here on the stage which you currently see. Uh, Bloomberg 1. Uh, that's the living room area. Bloomberg 2. Still the living room but it's showing a little more of an open to the, what's the dining area as well as the staircase. So I'm going to call it stairs. And then we have Bloomberg Bloomberg 3, uh, that's the kitchen. So, <clears throat> we're going to go back to our first picture, which is the house. Now, if you look to the right hand side, you're going to see um, in this layer here, we got a state. Now, if you don't have your fireworks set up like this, where you have this actual um, staging of um, um, the layers that you're going to be working with, <clears throat> all you have to do is go into the window. And you can select um, which actual side view you want to have accessible to you. Because these are easy access areas. I don't have to keep going up here, clicking window, and then coming down and clicking stages or pages. Uh, you, you see, I select pages. It's going to correlate back to the page that you already see here <clears throat> on the right side pane. Um, so right now, we're going to be working with states. All right. So if I go to window again, you can click states up here. Or since I already have one of these already selected, uh, you're going to see this correspond to what's over here in my right window here. Okay, so if we click on the picture, and I notice I'm talking relatively quickly, but I don't want to lose you. I want you to be able to stay with me here. Um, if I do one click on my picture that means that that is an action ready that I'm getting ready to take right that makes it active so once I want to click on it it makes it active therefore I can do things like copy paste you know cut whatever I want to do go up here manipulate things animation not animation yeah not that thing, but the state <clears throat> so what I'm gonna do first of all um, on this picture I'm going to change the names, okay? Because all of my pictures are going to say state if I click on the right state. So, the first thing we're going to do is number one, upload your pictures. Okay, I'm going to go through steps like that. All right? My number two step, I'm going to duplicate the state. All right? So, what I mean by that, I'm going to go over to my right window. Under this, under this little pane here, at the bottom, you see down here, if I hover over, you see different instances down here. Onion skinning, you have GIF animation looping, <coughs> forever. Uh, this is what we're going to actually change here later on. Thank you. Just reminding me. And then down here, you see a uh, distribution to state. And then the next one is what we're looking for. New duplicate state. Okay. We want to duplicate the state. So right now, we're going to click on this right now. One click. You see? And it duplicated the state. And what did it do? Is it was a new stage here. Um, and the state is brand new. So what we're going to do now, we're going to click on our next picture. Uh, click it one time to make sure it's active. We're going to go up to the toolbar, click copy. We're going to go back to our first picture, right, in this, in this blank state. And now we're going to paste it. Okay? Good. And then I just bring this up. And that's it. <clears throat> and one thing I failed to mention is that these pictures that we use, we want to try to keep them symmetry, uh, symmetrical as far as keeping them all at the same pixel size. Right? All right. So that's one picture. That's my second picture. Now we're going to add the third picture. This Repeat the same step we went before. Go here and do duplicate state. Click it. Go to our next picture. Make sure it's active. Copy. 
back and let's paste it in. There it is. All right, and let's go to our final picture. Duplicate the state. Final picture. Let's highlight it. Yes, copy it. Go here. And we're going to paste it. And it's good. So now <coughs> we have four states here. One, two, three, four. Now what I'm going to say, what I was going to say right before, we're going to change the name of these states. And once I start to go through this uh, illustration further, you can understand why I actually rename these states. <laughs> okay, because it gets confusing when we keep it like this. So let's go ahead and name this first one House. So double click, name it House. Okay, well, I'll click on this one. Double click the next one. I'm going to name that the Great Room. Okay, click the next state. Double click on it. Name that Stairs. <coughs> Fair enough. Okay, and the fourth picture, I'm going to double click and name that kitchen. Yes, indeed. Mm -hmm. All right, now, I think kitchen, I think blue food, y'all. I don't know about you, but I get hungry. Okay, here we go. Let's go back to state number one. Now, for this, what we're going to do, we're going to, we're going to keep, we're going to make some different frames here, right? Because whenever you see transitions in animation, those are actual frames that you're seeing on the back end. <clears throat> so we're going to create 10 frames per each, for each picture. Okay, so on this one, I'm going to do a right click, y'all. Right click. You see that? I'm right clicking, and then I'm going to say duplicate. I'm going to select duplicate state. So let's duplicate. In here, the number of duplicates we want is going to be 9, because we already have one on the stage, right? So we're going to add 9. That's going to give us a total of 10. Not like, I know math, man. Just put it in there. Okay, there we go. Boom. Okay, so now we have 10 house effects in place. Right? So let's go to the next picture, which is Great Room, right? I'm starting on number 11, frame 11. <laughs> we're going to right-click, duplicate state, and we're going to add 9 frames there and hit OK. Boom, there's nine great rooms down there now. Okay, and let's go to stairs. Let's do the same thing. Right click, duplicate state at nine. Click OK. Boom, bingo. Bada boom, bada bang. And on kitchen, we're going to do the same. Duplicate state at nine. And pow. All right, so now let's just get a preview because we right now have all these states up there, right? Four pitches. 10 frames each, we got 40 frames in total, right? Here we go, 1 to 40. So let's click on the first frame, and let's go down here to the top of the toolbar here, and let's click on the play button, just to see what it looks like right now. Okay, you see that? All right, let's go and click. Okay, it's just flashing right now through each picture, see that? If you're looking at the stage, don't worry about the frames on the side because it's just going down. Remember, we have 10 frames per picture, so they're staying on view for a couple of seconds, then it goes to the next one. We're actually staying on view for those nine frames, right? <clears throat> okay, so we're going to stop it. Let's stop. Now we're going to add some transition effects and with a fade. Okay, so let's go. How do we do this, Thomas? So. And we want to add transition. First of all, before we go to the transition thing, let's say if we want to speed up or slow down the frames, how do we do that? Okay, so if I wanted to slow down the frame from transitioning real quick, this is the um, frame speed over here. <coughs> okay, so what we're going to do on these frame delay settings here on the right side, we can just double click. You see that? And we can change that 7 to a higher frame number. So you can go from set um, 0 all the way up to 99, right? And then naturally, the higher the number, the slower the frame will transition off to the next. Okay, so that's important to know once we start doing our fade effect. So now let's get into our fade real quick. We're going to select the first house frame. 
Now remember, if I select the first house frame, if we want this on this whole um, um, animated GIF to loop, in other words, it will keep repeating itself, that means it's got to go back, it's got to go from 40, from, from 1 to 40, and then back to 1 to 40, and back to 1 to 40, and continuously repeating itself, right? So, therefore, in order for it to do that, we're going to have to take house, and we're going to have to bring it down here, also, copy it down here, and so it can have a smooth transition to that main house. So watch what I'm going to do. <clears throat> I'm going to go down here. I'm going to add another frame down here. Right? 41, 42, and 43. I'm just going to add three more frames to it. Okay? And now these are states, right? So what I'm doing, I'm going to change these states names. Double click. I'm going to call them house. I'm going to call it house. Oops, house. Okay, and house. Matter of fact, let's just, yeah, we can do three. Why not? House. Okay. So now, house is going to be up to about a little bit longer right now because we take in, um, we're adding three more frames to the actual initial house. Remember, house starting us off, right? Okay, so right now we're going to do here. Okay, here we're gonna start our fade effects. So the way we're gonna start our fade effects, y'all, we're gonna we're gonna keep some numbers in mind. We're gonna keep um let's say I'm thinking I'm gonna go eighty percent and then we're gonna go no, we're gonna go ninety percent, and then we'll do sixty percent, and then we're gonna do um thirty percent probably good, yeah, thirty and then ten. How about that? So that's four different instances I just addressed. He's at 90, 60, what, 30, and 10. So what I mean by that with those numbers, this is going to be the opacity. So opacity, we're going to change the opacity. This is the actual graphical view of the picture itself. Um, as you look at it right now, it's nice and vivid. But then if we, if we just clicked on this picture, look, and we move this opacity down to about what, 50%, look at what's going to happen. See that? It starts to dissolve. So, what we're going to do, we're going to come over here, we're going to take house, click on house one time, and we're going to copy house. Right? And now we're going to go all the way to the back, bottom, we're going to go above house, we're going to go right there on kitchen, we're going to use the last four instances of kitchen, and we're going to paste our house right on top of it. So, on stage 40, on frame 40, click here one time, and then we'll hit paste. Boom. On 39, click one time on the picture, hit paste. 38, click one time on the picture, hit paste, and 37, click one time on the picture, click paste. Okay? These are going to be for our transition effects. So now, we got kitchen, we go boom, boom. Okay, so the first one coming down from top to bottom, right? So we're starting on 37, 38, 39, and 40. Those are our four pictures we just pasted from, from picture one, right? So now we're going to change the first one, like I said, 90% opacity, right? So we're going to click on the picture and move this down to 90. Okay, that's good. Like you see, you see how the other picture in the background is coming in a little? That's what we want. So, so the second one. We're going to click on the picture, move it to 60%, right? Move it to 60%. There you go. And then the third one, kitchen, all right? Click on the picture, the overlay picture that we did. And we're going to take this down to what? 30%, right? 30. Now, this might be a big drop down from 60 to 30. I like to do pretty much, if you want a real nice smooth transition, you really want to go increments of 10. That would make it real smooth, y'all, real smooth. Okay, but for the sake of this picture right now, for the sake of what we're doing right now to save time, we're just going to do four instances. Okay, in the last one, frame 40, click on the picture, we're going to take this down to 10%. Okay? Oh. Yep, it's in the background. I can see it. Okay. Okay, good. And then 
it's gonna go to house, right? So we gotta paste house. Okay. Alright, good. And then we're gonna paste house right there. Right? Do we really need that there? Not really. Why? Because the other house is gonna be so let's just take these two off. Let's let's take these two off. I don't think we need this. Okay, so let's so we got this transition going from here to that house right there, right? Now look, right there, I'm not liking that right now, because it's not a smooth transition here. So let's do this. Let's let's um uh let's do this y'all. I want to duplicate the kitchen. Let me I'm gonna take this house back off, right? And I want that picture, I want that kitchen to come down one more time. Copy. I'll put it right here, paste, and then I'm gonna put the house on top. So I'm gonna go back up the house again. Copy the house. I'm gonna go right back down. Yeah, this one. I'm gonna paste it there. Right, and I'm gonna take this down to about um, five percent. Let's see what we're looking at. Because remember that transition. I didn't. I didn't really see too much of that transition, so I'm gonna go from that 10. I'm gonna go from that 10, uh, just so I can see it. Maybe a little more. Let me see, maybe 15. Okay, now this one, I'm gonna take this up to 20%. Okay, yeah, because I want, I want the transitions to go smooth from that one to house. Okay, because that's very important. Then we're gonna go. Yeah, like that. And it's going to go to the house. Okay, good. So this, the last one is going to go right back to there. And so the main thing is making sure that your pictures are all relatively the same size. Looking down here, right? You got 400 um, pixels, 200, 252, all right? And those are your PX sizes, right? So um, the size of the um, pictures and everything. So 400 by 252. And all of my pictures are the same size. <clears throat> okay, so next we're going to go, we're going to take four of the last house, right? One, two, three, okay, it's got ten. And one, two, three, four. Okay, so the last house we're going to take great room. In other words, the next picture down, we're going to take that picture. We're gonna copy. We're gonna copy that picture, and we're gonna move up four frames. One, two, three, four. So that means six, right? Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yep, yeah, number seven. And we're gonna paste it here. Okay. Now we're gonna take this. We're gonna click on it one time. We're gonna move this down to ninety percent, like we said before. Okay. Let's click on this house. Let's paste. And we're gonna move this to sixty percent. Okay, let's click on this, tap there, hit paste, and move this one down to what? Thirty percent, right? I know it's a big jump there, but it's gonna be okay. Thirty percent, and then the last one is what? Ten percent, right? Take this down to ten percent. Okay, good. So that's going to be okay. So let's look at it right quick. We'll go here, 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 here. See that transition right now? Okay, let's look at it again. Here, 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 here. Oh, what happened here? Here, here, here. Okay, that's too big of a jump. What happened there? House. There. Okay. Okay, I see what happened. Okay, boom, boom. We gotta go backwards. Okay, because we came from house and we're going down. So, yeah, the transition can't go this way. It's gotta go from house to this one right here. So, we're gonna take this one at 10%. It's gonna go backwards with 10. I'm gonna go 10, right? There it is. And then the next one, we're gonna go to 30. Ooh, something wrong with and then the next one here, y'all, we're going to take this one that's 60, right? Take it up to 60. Okay. 
Okay, and then the next one, this one's gotta be 90. Okay, now let's look at that. Let's look at transition now. From house. House, house, house. The transition starts. Boom, to the great room. There you go. Now, it's going to be in reverse order going back from the great room going down. Watch. Great room going down. So these one, two, three, four, five. The stairs is going to come in, right? So we do the same thing. Stairs, let's cut. Let's tap on it, copy it. Go four frames up, one, two, three, four. Here, tap on the picture, let's paste it. And that is the stairs right there, yes? So let's go ahead and put that at what, 90, uh, 10 or something, right? 10 percent, yes, because it's coming in. Okay, click on the next frame, frame 18, tap it, paste, the stairs just came in. So we said this is gonna be what, 30%? Okay, the next one, let's tap, let's paste, the picture in, all right, take it to 60%. Next, tap, paste, and we're going to move this to 90%. 90. Okay, now let's look at what we got. So the great room is in, then the great room starts to fade out. There it is, fading out, transitioning to the stairs. Yes, very good. See, in, with doing it this way, you don't have to put um, something, at, a, a fade instance at the top of the picture and at the bottom of the picture. You can just do a one because it's transitioned equally, right? Okay, so let's click on catch, Kitchen now, right? Here, let's copy it. Go up four, one, two, three, four. Right here, tap, paste the kitchen on there. Tap the kitchen. Let's take this down to 10%, right? Boom. Next, stairs. Tap. Paste it. Take this one to what? 30%. You got it. Okay. Let's go to the next one down. Tap the picture. Paste that kitchen in there. And move it to what? 60%. Oh, all right. I think you guys catching on very well. All right, last frame, tap, paste that picture on there. Let's take this to what? 90%. Okay, now let's look at our work. Let's go up here the stairs. Let's see how it transitions. Yes, look at that, look at that. Boom, right into the kitchen. Okay, that's going down with the kitchen. Uh, boom, hold up, boom. Kitchen, kitchen, kitchen. Now, look what's happening. Okay, what happened there? We're on the kitchen here. What are we doing wrong here? Let me see if somebody can tell me. Exactly. We put we put this frame at 90, where that, should, where that should be 10. Right? Let's take it to 10. Right? We gotta go reverse order. 10, this one should be <clears throat> not 60, but it should be what? 30, right? 30. This next one, tap, should be 60. Oh, we got it, y'all. We have it. And this next one should be what? 90. Yes. 90. Where is it? 90, 90, 90. There you go. 90. Yes. Okay, and since we did that, um, we don't need these last two. Let me just discard it. Just do it. We'll just, well, not the last two, but it's not the last one because we had 40 frames. Okay. This one, this is house thing. Okay, this is house. Paste. Oops. That's the kitchen. Or oh, house. Okay, so we want house right here, right? So, house, copy house, paste house, and we're going to give you value five. Okay, 
Now, let me see what it's looking like. Let's click on number one to figure out frame directly. Boom. Okay. 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 There you go, y'all. Look. It's going kind of quick, right? Like a quick view. So, how can we make this um, move a little slower or keep our picture stage longer on the actual viewer for the viewer? Simple. Let's stop. Now, there's things that we can do. We can either move up some of these to like, um, let's see the ones that doesn't have transitions on. So, let's see if this one, one, two, three. Um, so, the ones that have the trend, tra we don't want the transition to be slow. We want the the actual ones without the transitions on, right? So that's six. So let's move this to. We can move this to ninety. I'm gonna put that at ninety. Put that at ninety. We're we'll changing the frame speed now. And to the other one, we'll change this one to like sixty. Huh? And let's change this one to maybe forty. Now let's see what happens. Let's just run it. Let's just run this. Okay, you see that? You see how slow it went on the frames? If you look at the frames on the right hand side, see how it's slow right there? See that? It slowed it down. That means that we didn't have to add new pictures into there. It stayed there a little bit, see that? And that's what we want. We want to just once it goes through the frame or the transition stage, it could stay there. So we can do that same thing for the other frames. So we we'll take we're we'll taking three. I remember just to deconfuse everybody. I did 40, 60, 90, but really, you could just went 90 on all of them, on all three of these, 90, right? And let's do just do 90 on those three on house, and let's do 90 on a great room, once we got without the transition, just before the transition, right? So 90 on that one, oops, let's do 90 on this one. Let's do 90 on this one, right? Oops, I'm sorry. Okay, and let's go down. That was the great room, so now let's go to the stairs. Uh, look for that final the transition. Just before the transition kicks in, that's the frame rate will change into 90. And this one, 90. And this one, <coughs> excuse me, 90. All right. Let's go to the kitchen just before the transition. And we're going to change it now to 90. See that? Right here, just double click. 90, right there on that number 70. Double click. Change that frame rate from 7 to 90. Okay, that's it, y'all. Now, let's look at our work. Kind of product. Hit play. Here we go. Okay, there it is. See the picture stays up a little bit longer. Okay, good. There we go. All right, see that? See how it's looking? Right, you guys, ha I'm happy with that. I'm happy with that right now. Now, yes, we can make it transition a little bit smaller. We can add, we can increase the 7 to like 10 to 20 and 30 on those actual transition frames as well. So hopefully you guys learned something. Oh, we're not done yet. I got to teach you how to save this. All right. Now that we hit stop, y'all. The final step. Let's save our work. We're going to click on File, Save As. And you're going to save it as a Save As type. You're going to go from a PNG or a JPEG to an animated GIF. You want to call it animated GIF. All right. And then I'm going to hit Save. Yes, we replaced the one I did before. Okay, now, so I just say this animated GIF. 